Okay, back to this screen. Uh, last time left off, we made this little lake here with the rafting. Now it's time to make the areas that this leads off to. So, first I'm going to do the one below it. So let's figure out where the tiles have to go to make it, like, walkable so you don't get stuck in a wall. You know what I mean. Uh, this is just going to be a little dead end area. So I'll fill it up. And put in the ground like always. Put in the corners. Wish I didn't have to show all this each time, but I'm not. This isn't a cooking show where I have the turkey prepared beforehand, so I have to do it on screen. Alright, and then. Oh, well, there's one more. Okay, so that's basically all this is. It's a simple little dead-end cave here. And there's going to be some money that you can collect. So let's select an item and find rupee. Let's make it 50. And place it. And because that's a lot of money, we want it to be somewhat significant, so let's have Link hold it up by checking off hold up item. And now to make this harder to reach, I'm going to surround it with a giant boulder, if I can find the tile for that. So yeah, let's find the giant boulders. So yeah, it's completely blocked off. To get rid of those, you're going to have to use the whistle. So let me see if there's a pre-made tile for something like that. There, I want to have a specific thing that you stand on when you use it. And it doesn't look like there is one. So you know what that means. Time to make a new tile. Let's just go down here next to the lick that you made last time. Edit. And here uh, the ground is black. And I just want it to be something that will indicate the player, that will tell the player that they need to use the whistle here. So I'm going to make a music note. Just something like that. Uh, center it a little bit better. And that's really all there is to it. I guess I could add like some shading to it, but these are 8-bit graphics. You can't expect it to be the great. So. That's good enough. We'll keep that, then go all the way down to an open spot, and make a new combo for the music note. This is going to be completely walkable, so nothing like that, and it's a basic tile, so type is none. And I will put it roughly in the middle. So there it is. And now, the way this is going to work is that you have to stand on that and play the whistle to make the rocks go away. So this is going to require a secret flip. So first go legs, find the whistle one, and the whistle one you want to place on the tile that you have to use it on. So that would be right there. And then that will cause the boulders to go away, which we will use flag 16 for. Let's just get rid of these two middle ones. And set this for combo for that. So that would be 16 is up here, and find the correct C set and we'll use this sort of rubble looking stuff. So, at this screen you come in, you um, raft downwards, come here, play the whistle on the note, make the rocks go away and get the money. And then, next we're going to want to be able to spend that money, so I'm going to make the potion shop after a short break to stop recording. Okay, I'm back. So. Uh, we want to have the potion cave be above this screen. However, there's a little, th or there's like a little quirk with potion shops that I've discovered. I'm not sure if it's been fixed since, but I want to be safe anyway. So I'm going to assume that the gl that the problem is still there, and that is that potion shops only work on screen 80 that I've found. Kind of similar to how the money room that we had here keeps giving you money over and over. 
unless you have it set to screen 80. So here, I'm into it like a cave type entrance. What I'm actually going to do here is have a side warp up into screen 80. So let me check what the opening looks like so I can have it match up properly. I think this is actually pretty close to being correct. Let me see, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then space, and then seven. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, except that one should probably be straight. Then two space, and yeah, somehow that came out correctly, even though I didn't really plan ahead for that. So anyway, here all we want to do is set the side warp to screen 80 on the upper side. D-map doesn't really matter, I think, but I'll set it to cave anyway. And you want to have that be a cave item room. And if you hit go, I don't think it'll take you there anyway. No, it won't. So, hopefully if this all works, when you go upwards, it should take you to screen 80. Uh, I'm going to have to set the location coordinates for when you come back, though. And because we're using C, we said we want to have the shop to be on this screen. First, let's actually make the shop. Go to meta, shop types. This one we've already used. This one we haven't. And I want to have the boomerang be sold here. And you can use the 50 rupees that you just picked up, except I'm going to have it be a little bit more expensive than that. So let me find the boomerang in the list. Boomerang 1 the most basic one, and then that's it. So you're probably thinking, well, that's just like a regular shop. Well, that's because it's basically a regular shop. All you have to do here is set the room type to a potion shop instead of a shop, and they are exactly the same, except for a potion shop requires that you have the letter item in order to use it. So you set out the shop type, I believe, was 1. It was either one or uh, two. I don't know if it counted zero. Yeah, it was number one. So, it was, so set that to one. The guy will have be the old woman, Emma. String will be the bats in this cave can be tough to defeat. I guess that's good enough. I don't want to make it, like, too specific. Anyway, I already set the guy message string. will be the bats in this cave, etc. And I think that's it. we got room tied up to all that. So that should work properly. So, the screen to the right of this one is just going to be... Basically, you have to defeat the bats to get by. And so you're going to want to have the boomerang to do that because that makes it quite a bit easier. So I, I'm not sure if I want to have any more rooms to this cave, actually. I don't think I do, so I'm going to round it off. And I'm running quite low on time now. I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish this up. But basically, round off the corners. Fill in the ground. And just put in some bats. I'll put in three of them. Then, when you kill the bats, it'll cause a staircase to appear. So, um, that would, oops, that would be flag 16, like usual. Let's put it there put the location things next to it for when you come out of the stairs. Um, enemy secret on the screen data page. And secret combos set this to be that upwards going staircase that we created before. That would be right there. And that was kind of rushed, but I believe that's all you need to do. So I'm saving here, and next time I'll be testing that to make sure all that works after we make a screen for the cave to lead to. Alright, since I actually do have a little bit of time, I wanted to show a quick test of this. Um, I've tested this 
before off screen and found that it actually does not work at all. And you'll see why in a minute. So anyway, that worked fine, except for the lake doesn't really dry up. So you go in here, and yeah. Obviously this was not supposed to happen. And even if you do use the letter, it doesn't work. So I have a fix planned for that already. I'll be showing that next time. This screen works perfectly fine now. Not that there was really any doubt, since it's fairly simple. But, so yeah, this doesn't work. You can go over here. If you want to bother fighting the bats, then that should be fine. And you can actually raft up here, but then you can't move. So yeah, next time is going to be an extremely complicated and circuitous way of fixing this that I hope people will be able to follow.